Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been a little while since I've posted a video. Um, things were a little hectic here and I was finding my groove and then all the holiday stuff. I have a major announcement that on February 9th I will be vending a local shop local uh, fair. It is being held at West Beach Tavern and I will put a link down in the description for the Facebook event so you guys can check it out come support us. I've got I've been working on lots of product to be able to sell at the event. I have spell oils, I'm gonna have a prosperity candle, a um, couple of kits. It's, it's gonna be good. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys out there. So um, without further ado, let's move on to um, unbinding or unboxing the Switches Moon subscription box. Um, this is for January. I am, um, yes, I'm, it's pretty late in January. Um, I've been a really good girl and haven't opened it yet, even though it's been sitting on my dining room table for like two, three weeks now. Um, so let's get at it because I'm excited. Alright, let's move this off to the side so I can, let's see. To exchange my gifts with the world is a positive act. Teamwork is necessary while I can learn from the stories of others. I can create my own mythos. Beauty is internal and revenge it has consequences. This try card, which we'll find out in a little bit what deck that comes from, but it's very pretty. I like the art on it. All right, description thing. We always put that off to the side because I want my first impressions on anything. So we have our incantation for probably the candle that we got. Um, we'll set that off to the side. Ooh. We have Wheel of the Year um, Book of Shadows art, which is just beautiful. I like how it tells just all of the full moons too as we're going through the year. Um, so January is the wolf moon, February is storm, um, the March is windy or air and so on and so forth. Um, my favorite is the hunter's moon in October. That's just being a wolf, I kind of like the idea of that that moon, and I wish it wasn't so cold so I could go camping more often, but I'm slowly working on my cold winter gear to be able to do that too. And then we have a Bridget um, Book of Shadows art, which is beautiful as well. Um, I used to know a lot more about Bridget. It's been a while since I've worked with her. I worked with her in like high school and college. She was definitely one of my favorites. I thought about naming one of my, if I had a daughter, I was gonna name that. When I was that age, when it got, when I actually got pregnant, I had a different name picked out, but that was definitely a thought at one point. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna go for the big item first cause it's right up front and beautiful. It's got this nice carving, um, some fuzz in it, but, or moss actually. But yeah, that's a nice, ooh, ooh, there's moss and stuff inside. Ooh, all kinds of things inside. Ooh, we got some jasmine. Oh, I love jasmine. Jasmine's my favorite. I've used it in one of the oils that I made recently and I just, yeah. I wish the, um, essential oil slash essence wasn't so expensive. Look at all this moss. It's so pretty. And there's a little stone in here. I want to say that's tiger's eye. Yeah, it's tiger's eye. It's just a very, um, a very dull sheen tiger's eye. Um, tiger's eye is for protection, intuition, um, it's a good knowledge. It's good for students. I don't think there's anything else left in this moss. It's really pretty moss. 
my, my Christmas moss um, sadly died recently, so I've been a little sad about that. And so we have Liberat, Libertas, Libertas, um, salt, ritual salt. Ooh, it has a sweet smell to it. I can't wait to read what's actually in it. Those are always good. Looks like there's jasmine flowers, maybe some sage and lemongrass. So we'll see what's what's actually in there in just a moment. We've got our spray. Let's go ahead and since I found that spray lid, let's pull this out. I can read it through the thing. It says it's Bridget's Flame. Ooh. This shall be fun. Where did my trash can go? <laughs> so let's see. Oh, that's spicy and cinnamony. That's nice. Fire. Mm. So Br I know Bridget is usually celebrated um, on Imblock, which is coming up on Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember for sure. Um, so it's probably one reason why they sent Bridget stuff in this one. Um, we have bay leaf and allspice. Again, I tried to read the pretty writing instead of just reading <laughs> the uh, the print font on the top. And then we have, what's in here, what's in here? <laughs> Ooh, Sunstone, oh, that is such a pretty piece. It's got such nice shimmers in it. Oh, that's pretty, I like it. I feel so, I mean, the stone itself is kind of cool, but like the energy of it is really warm and, um, yeah, it makes me happy. It's all bubbly. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put that there. Hey, right, I'm curious what's in this box. Ooh. It's um, Bridget's symbol. Um, which looks very similar to Thor's hammer. Um, Mew Mew. <laughs> He watched the Thor's movies, um, Mignon, that's the name of it. Um, but I don't, I don't know, I have, like I said, it's been so long since I've worked with Celt, um, things. Let's see if the, oh yeah, the blacksmith's hammer. So it is still considered a hammer. It's not necessarily Thor's hammer, it's Bridget's hammer. Um. Yeah, that's that's really pretty. I like that. Let me put that back in a little bit different. Let's see what else? Um, this is the candle, beeswax candle. Um, I'm not gonna open it this time. Um, you can kind of see it's it's red. I don't really get much of a smell from it. It might have some cinnamon, but then there are also these massive. Wow, these are huge and awesome. These massive um, cinnamon sticks in here. So the candle might have just picked up some of that. Oh, I love cinnamon. So good for success. And it's got that fiery, quick moving success too. Um, it's also good for love and lust. Let's see, we have solar torch incense. Ooh, I might have to change that out and start using that today or tomorrow. I only burn one stick a day in a room because otherwise it gets too much. 
Uh, here's the oil, my favorite thing. I love the oils and seeing the, the prettiness inside of them. I gotta take a moment though. <laughs> Sniff the bubbles. So this is Bridget anointing oil. So again, another Bridget item, which is which is cool. I like it. Oh. Again, it looks like there's basil, basil or um, not basil, bay. I think that's bay leaf in there. Maybe sage. Um, there's something red, which is probably sweet wood. Is my guess, which is cinnamon. Um. Yeah, it's got that cinnamon, fiery. And I'm guessing that's bay too. Didn't we? What did we get? Yeah, we got bay leaf in there, so that would make sense for the bay leaf to be in there too. And there's probably a crystal in here. There's a lot of herbs. Yep, there's the crystal. I see it. It's like right there. It just fell through. That was kind of silly because of gravity. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, let's get out the because that's that's everything that's in the box. So, we actually got two little candles this this time. Or two candles, one small, one one big. So let's get out the pamphlet and read what they have for uh what they say. Again, I'm not gonna read everything because if you wanna read the whole thing, go subscribe and you'll get to read next month. Um, as we pass through the winter solstice and welcome the returning sun, we begin again. We celebrate the light half of the year that starts to unfold and give thanks for knowledge and information we have received from the darker months. Let's see, we have the hand-carved Celtic cross box, which they say it has a lot of, um, synchronicities and meanings usually found in Ireland Scotland R Wales and Britain because it's an equal armed cross it stands for earth air fire water or northeast northeast south and west and so inside of it we have a mini white intention setting candle um, to help us focus on our manifestations that we want during the lighter months of the year. We have jasmine flowers um, for love, abundance, and prosperity. A tiger's eye tumble stone. This is a solar stone, which is it's true. <laughs> it's uh, I said earlier it's for like intuition and knowledge and protection, but it does um, fall into one of the warmer stones too. Keep our creative minds sharp and eager to move. Then we have Bridget's Hammer Fine Pewter Pendant with Cord. Um, and it was designed by a local to them and award-winning jewelry artist, Bob Heine. I hope I said that right. It's a, <laughs> it's a symbol of strength. Sorry, my words got all kinds of mixed up. And Bridget is known for watching over the creatives um, so like art artists, practitioners, poets, and writers. It's a good symbol for just the creation process in general. Uh, we have the Bridget Book of Shadows artwork, and that's designed by A.E. Adlin, Al Alden, Alden, Alden. <laughs> um, we have the hand roll rolled and anointed Awoken Flame spell candle with the incantation artwork. And the artwork was done by A.E. Alden as well, but it was written by G. Ivis. So it's to work with um, the element of fire. And this candle has been anointed with cinnamon, anise, clove, and grapefruit oils. And then a special mixture of their fire magical oil from their personal witchery candle. Um, I know that I'm not getting much of a scent from it. I, to me, the beeswax almost always overpowers any kind of oil you put into it until you burn it. So, and also I've been still dealing with some seasonal nasal stuff because 
Mother Nature doesn't know what temperature she wants it to be in Virginia Beach, sadly. <laughs> um, we have the large cinnamon stick bundle. They can help raise vibrations. Um, good for to ignite passion within our work, abundance and prosperity. They give us three so that we can create a triangle. When you do the upright triangle, it's the symbol for fire. So that's really cool. I also think it'd be very interesting to use one of these as like a wand um, to just kind of get that um, energy in it. A piece of it broke off. Because <laughs> um, you can pretty much use anything for a wand. Um, I know they're fragile, so they would probably be, or they're semi-fragile. Um, so they'd probably be, like I just said, a piece broke off. Probably be a temporary wand, maybe only used for certain things, but it'd be interesting. I love cinnamon. <laughs> Let's see, we have the Bridget Magical Anointing Oil. Is based on a fearless conviction towards action. Probably gonna end up using some of that on before my event on the 9th. We've enchanted this magical oil with clove, anise, cinnamon, and orange, almond, and bay oils, and have included cinnamon chips and crushed bay. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> and there's a Lumerian quartz, and they've added a little bit of their Deem Ingus, Ignus, Deem Ignus, Ignis, if you can help me say it, I would appreciate it. Um, from their personal cabinet of witchery, they have Bridget's Flame Ritual Aura, Aura Spray, created with the intentions of bringing strength, passion, and creative energies into your space. Yeah, that's getting sprayed in here once I finish this video. <laughs> and put away the camera gear so I don't get it on the camera gear because sometimes that's not a great thing. It has oils of cinnamon, clove, almond, and a special mixture of their true and true magic oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. Uh, the Libertas Sacred Salt with the intention of releasing stagnant energies that we've held onto from our past and set upon a new journey for this year, welcoming new ideas and challenges. The Sacred Salt has rosemary, sweet orange, and tea tree oil. So it was the sweet orange that I was really smelling. Rosemary, eucalyptus, euc 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 sorry about that, eucalyptus, and jasmine herbs. And a special mixture of their clear magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. The Solar Torch Ritual Sticks, uh, incense sticks. Which it doesn't actually say what it's, um, what the smells are of it, but it's the energies of fire. The large tumble sunstone, um, it's also, it's true essence of solar light. Abundance of blessings, it, um, corresponds with fire. And then we have allspice, assist us in attracting, attracting energies into our lives, um, for prosperity and health. And also a charm for luck, so you can carry it in your pocket. So it would probably be like a really good idea to make a little spell bag that has allspice and that this tiger's eye and carry it in your pocket for good luck. Um, especially when you're um, doing, doing something important or big endeavors. Again, I probably will have this on me at the event. This is a really good box to kind of open right before my event too, because yeah, these are some things I really kind of need for for this. I'm a little nervous to be honest about my event. Um, it's my first time like presenting my products to the the uh, to the public, and it's it should be fun. It should be exciting. I just I'm always a little nervous, but 
before trying something new. Love trying new things, but always a little nervous. We have crushed bay leaves, which are bring strength and protection, uh, especially during trying times. The Wheel of the Year Book of Shadows art. Um, again, this was done by A. E. Adlin Ad Ad Alden. Alden. I'm hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, the pers personal oracle reading, and that is from the Earth Power Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. DeMarco. Um, and then a little bit of parchment paper, which they always send. And I think that's cool because then you can use it in spell work or um, maybe even take some notes and put it in your own um, book of shadows. Oh, that's another thing. I created a book of shadows piece um, that will be offered at the, the shop or at the local vending fair. Um... So I have a few other things that I want to go over. I need to play with the settings on my camera because for some reason around 25 minutes, 30 minutes or so, it decides to just shut off. Like I'm not sitting here talking to it and recording. <laughs> um, so I'll jump back where I was. So I've got this very beautiful piece that I ordered from Awana Wolf off of Etsy. I follow her on Instagram as well. I'll have all that posted down below. I've got cat hair on it. Um, but it's just, she handcrafted this book and um, the skull is uh, clay, resin. So it was hand, hand sculpted, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's not a real um, skull, which is probably a good thing because if it was a real skull, it probably would break. Um, over time, if not very quickly, because the, the skulls, um, I want to say it's either a raven or a crow skull is what she mimicked, and just bird skulls in general are very fragile. Um, that's not a bird skull, that's a mm, muskrat. I think this is muskrat. I'll, I'll explain that ring in a little bit, but it's just, this book is beautiful. I think she, um, hand bound the paper too, um. I'm looking forward. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I think I'm kind of leaning towards using it for a sigil journal. Um, but yeah, it's very sturdy and I've, I've like popped it all the way open a few times and it's not, um, it doesn't feel like it's just going to fall apart. So go check out her Instagram or her Etsy page. Um, because it's, it smells really good too. Sorry. I know that was distracting, but I got a whiff of it. It smells really good. Um, but check out her Instagram or her Etsy. They're really reasonably priced. Um, she basically sells them for the cost of the material only um, because she just enjoys making them. And the, the enjoyment of making that is what feeds her. And she doesn't really worry about making a profit, which I, I respect um, I, and I appreciate because I was able to afford this because of that. Um, but girl, you got some talent. You, you could charge a little bit more. I know all of you are like, no, don't do it. But as artists, we should value our work. Um, so I kind of touched on, I've got these two beautiful rings. Um, the, this one is, if I remember right, it's a muscat, muscat, mus, uh, muscat skull. Um, and then this one is actually a human tooth. Um, both of these two were made by, um, Blind Bella, who is a local artist to me. She's amazing. Um, I absolutely love her work. It's always this kind of morbid, um, side to it. I've got a pair of rune earrings where I've got the whole set of runes that are hanging. I've got a necklace that has uh, medical slides on it. Um, I got a key necklace, like old fashioned antique keys, skeleton keys. Um, 
I've got, I've got a lot of things from her because she's just, she has awesome art, um, awesome jewelry. Uh, so I will post her stuff down below too and go check her out. She's both, she's on Etsy and on Instagram. Um, and sometimes she posts things on Instagram that she doesn't post to Etsy. So you can DM her and PayPal that too. Um, and then you guys might have noticed in the intro, this little guy. Um, I got this little guy in, um, I'll show him here too. Come on, focus. There you go. He just, he's so happy. Um, I got this little guy at the Aquarian Bookshop in Richmond uh, when I was visiting a friend. He really spoke to me um, because he is so happy looking but his crystal is broken um so if you look you can kind of see like his crystal broke but it just spoke to me because you know stuff happens in life but you can still be happy about it like be happy not not necessarily be happy about it but you can still be happy in life and move forward and still be thankful and for the blessings you do have. I mean, he still has a little bit of his crystal. He still has the power. So that little guy really spoke to me. So I picked him up. Um, one last thing is I've got my crystal mug buddy that I'm using. Um, it has the blue lace strawberry quartz, um, which it's kind of in the shape of a strawberry, which I, I really liked. And then it's got amethyst. Um, and it's just a very kind of creativity for me, self-love um, thing. Those are done by Valerie Teacher. That's her thing on Instagram. And she only sells on Instagram. And her her business is called Crystal Mug Buddies. She also does pendants. I have quite a few pendants from her that I absolutely love. She's local to me as well in Virginia Beach. And yeah, go check out her stuff as well. They, I, I love supporting my local artists. I don't have anything that's really available for shout out to show you. But I do want to send out a shout out also to Stitch Asylum. Stitch Asylum is my tattoo artist. I might go ahead and actually, I, I'll probably post some pictures along here or so. Um, so you can see some of my art, um, some of the tattoo the tattoos that she's done on me. Um, she will also be joining me at the uh, vending fair selling her art. Um, she's making some awesome um, greeting cards and she's got her stickers and some custom paintings. She's making uh, bullet journal stickers as well. So come out, check her out, check out my oils. Again, I'll post the link to the event on um, the description below. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it on what's going on and what I need to plug. Cause, and by the way, all these plugs were not paid or anything like that. They're just really awesome um, artists that I just want to give them a shout out and get them a little bit of um, uh, publicity that we all like being a small time artist we all got to support each other and reach out and it's kind of my way of paying it forward I've had some many blessings in my life and I want to continue as well as I mean kind of karma ish if I put it out there maybe somebody else will put it out there for me so I hope you guys have a great week. Um, celebrate M Block on this weekend. I forget which day it is. And I will see you soon. I'm not sure what's going to be coming up next because, again, I am focused on getting ready for this um, for this craft fair. I will probably there's a possibility I might do a product features video next week just to kind of give you guys more of a rundown but definitely check out my instagram at knots untwisted 
that way I'm definitely posting progress reports progress <laughs> progress pictures and some of the I the merchandise items up there and I look forward to seeing those of you who can come out at to at the event and I'll see the rest of you the next time that I post the video um, may you always have the blessings of your gods and I'll see you soon mm, bye